Hey, thanks for joining us. I assume you are having trouble getting MongoDB to work with Prisma in Blitz. So what we've done is we've taken a look at what the issues are and how it can be solved so that you don't have to. I will, however, reference all the documentation that we read through in the description so you can go check it out yourself. The approach I'm taking with this video is to set it up step by step and then debug so that you understand why things are breaking and how to fix them. I'm going to try and run through this as quickly as possible, but please just be a little bit patient. I want to warn you, you need to follow the steps accurately, otherwise you're going to have some unnecessary pain in your life to get this working. Okay, let's get going. What you see in front of you is a Blitz project with the standard DB setup. I think it's SQLite, Prisma installed, etc. Let's take a look at what the schema looks like out of the box. So the first thing that we see here is that the data source DB provider is SQLite. We want to change this to MongoD, excuse me, MongoDB. The moment you do that, you see red squiggles here. We'll get to that in a second. We need to add preview features. Because Mongo is still in preview with Prisma, we need to add this um, to the generator client object. This needs to be Mongo capital D lowercase b. This is important to get right. So if we hover, we see error validating field ID. Mongo DB model IDs must have a map underscore ID annotation. So in order for MongoDB to make sense of how Prisma works with IDs, we need to map it. So if we add add map underscore ID, we do that. Just add everywhere where we see the red squiggles. That looks like it should work. Cool, everything is fine. Let's check our database URL. Actually, I've set this up already. So I've got database URL here, a local instance of MongoDB. I'm calling the database test DB. You can call this whatever you want. Just a side note, you don't have to create test DB before you try and connect. When you try and connect to MongoDB with this, it's going to create a database called test DB. Let's first see if we can connect to MongoDB from our terminal. Because if we can't do it here, then Blitz is most certainly not going to get it right. Okay, so it says connection failed. Um, error couldn't connect to server. Great. Okay, so I don't think Mongo is running. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to specify a DB path because MongoD is going to expect it. We're going to put this into a folder within our project that is called Mongo Data. And this folder needs to have been created before we run the command. Great. It looks like this is running just fine. Now we can try and run our local command again. And if we do that, it seems to work. So let's just take a look at our DBs. So that's a stock standard empty database uh, with admin config and local collections. Nothing more going on there. So the last thing that we need to do before we run our project and test this, is to run Blitz Prisma Generate. So that Prisma can read the environment variables and it can load the schema. As we have made some small changes to it with the at map annotation that we've added here. So let's go ahead and see if we can make this work. So the easiest way to test our implementation is to try and sign up because we're going to be mutating the database. Okay, we are greeted with an error. This MongoDB deployment does not support retriable writes. So it's not very obvious, but this has got everything to do with the way that we fire up MongoD. To make this error go away, we need to have a replica set of our database. After a bunch of online searches and Stack Overflow digging, we found out that this retry writes equals false. If we add it to the connection string here, it really doesn't do anything. It just stays broken. 
it doesn't work and it comes down to the replica set so that's what we are going to fix next according to mongodb's documentation we need to run mongod with a bunch of flags in order to make this work before we run this command you would need to create a folder on your hard drive where you would want to store the database you need to do this before you run the flag db path otherwise it's not going to work it's going to say the folder is missing uh, maybe you should create it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this everything before the comma we don't need to add we don't need to connect with any other ip addresses i'm going to take this command i'm going to paste it here and then i am going to just change the path to match match where i've created my folder this flag uh, repl set or replica set and we call it re0 and then we bind our local host ip let's give this a go the next thing that we need to do is we need to initialize the replica set within the Mongo shell. So let's initiate rs initiate. I did run this before and it's already been initialized, which means we're good. So let's see if this had any impact on our error. So we we seem to have solved our previous error, but now we have another problem to deal with. Error occurred during query execution. Uh, let's see here. Command failed. Operation not supported in transaction. Cannot create namespace test.db.user in multi-document transaction. So what this means is we need to create the namespace. So I'm going to enter the Mongo shell again, use test db, and then we say db.create collection, and we have a user collection, as we can see here, or a model. We need to do this for each and every model. We seem to have sorted out that error. Now we are greeted with this issue. The current database provider doesn't support a feature that the query use, converting BSON to type int. So let's go back to the small changes we made to our schema to make the squiggles go away. We added the add map annotation. That's not all we have to do. And if you didn't read the Prisma documentation properly, you would have struggled with this for many hours like I did. We need to replace this whole section. Everywhere there is an ID, we need to specify a string and then add this annotation and db.objectID. So we're copying this whole, whole thing and we're pasting it here. We'll do the same for the other IDs in the models. And then last but not least, we're going to grab string at db.objectID as well for the user ID here. And that will also be relevant under the token. Let's save this. We will have to run let's Prisma generate again so that it can read the new schema. It looks like we finally have Mongo working with Blitz. The first thing you'll notice here is it doesn't say user ID one. It says user ID some hashed stuff there because Mong that's how Mongo works. And that's pretty much how you do it. So to summarize, the first thing you need to do is to make sure that your schema is updated correctly according to according to the instructions that are found on this page link in the description next thing we need to do is we need to run mongod with some flags so that we can convert the standalone db to replica set that's not the last step we need to then go into the mongo shell and run rs or replica set dot initiate 
make sure that works. After that, we have to go into our DB in the shell, whatever you named your DB, and create collections for each and every model within Prisma. And then you should be good to go. See you in the next bit.